John Davis and this is Leader Recycling. Uh, I am the president of the company. We're in St. Charles, Missouri, which is a western suburb of the St. Louis metropolitan area. Well, we opened up a mixed C&D plant. It's the first one in Missouri in the uh, total Midwest area. The design of the building all the way down to the plant was done through CBI. I just kind of went to them and said, look, what do we need to do? What's going to work the best? The simplicity of the machines and also the durability, and that was one of the main reasons we went with them. They came here to the area, they set up our plant, showed us how they thought it would work. They made uh, 3D designs of what it would look like, how it would sit on our property, how the traffic would flow it. They know their equipment inside now. It's good when we pick up the days where we have the big demo jobs coming in. We got tractor trailers bringing in houses or buildings they've tore down. Then we fill the building up. And uh, so it's usually a very steady flow. The trucks pull in the front gate. They pull up onto the scale. We weigh them loaded. They pull around. They get untarped. We back them in, dump it. So after they do that, they pull out, go around to the back side of the building. They weigh again empty, get their tickets, and go out for another load. Well, when the truck's dump, we, we dump them in here at the back of the pile. And then as we push it forward, we roll it up, we break it, and tear it up until we get it up to the front of the pile where the excavator actually picks it up. He places it onto the uh, action screen that we have. It's a 54,000 pound screen, has a two inch uh, screen on the bottom, so it shakes the material out. Anything under two inches goes up our fines conveyor into our fines pile. But the larger material goes on to a five foot wide belt that then elevates it up into our picking house. Once it enters the picking house, it goes through a station of 12 pickers who are picking wood, cardboard, concrete, metal, plastic, vinyl siding. What's left goes off the end towards the trash. We do pull off any of the non-ferrous metals and separate those on the side. If there is any ferrous metals left, we have a large dings magnet at the end that pulls it off and throws it into a separate bin. And then what comes off the end is trash that goes to the landfill. And we've been pretty consistent with keeping in about 75% recycled and 25% uh, going to the landfill. The way our CBI plan is set up, the first set of picking stations are for wood, so they're wide open because that's the majority of the material we get. The remainder of the stations all have split bins. So the next guy comes down, he picks cardboard, but if he doesn't have any cardboard, he can pick wood and there's a belt running underneath of him that is uh, separated in the deposit bin so he can put wood into that. And so each person, if they don't have either cardboard or metal or concrete to pick, then they can pick what wood did not get picked up at the first station. And then the belts underneath actually run the material back up to the wood bin so it all ends up in the same place. We have a front loader that goes in, picks up the wood, and brings it over to the 5400 wood grinder and dumps it into the wood grinder, where then it goes through the grinder, goes underneath the cross belt magnet that pulls out any of the metal that was in it, and then it goes into our pile of mulch. So then we sell it to a local mulch dealers who then they take it, they re-grind it, color it, and sell it for household use. We've been running this machine for over two and a half years, and about three months ago, we turned the teeth for the first time. We have not replaced a tooth yet. Outside of a few little tears and some belts and some electric wires that we knocked off, uh, we have had no problems at all. With being a member of the CDRA, that's what got this all started. I had joined it for Recycling Concrete. When I saw what they were doing, I thought this really is a great look at organization and great operation and, you know, filling a void in this area. But it's worked out real well that if I have a problem, if I have an issue, if I have a product I can't get rid of, I know that I can just get on the phone and call one of the other board members or one of the other members and they'll help me find what to do with the product, what they're doing with it, what's happening on the East Coast, the West Coast, Chicago, Florida, you know, and it's really beneficial to get together. Being out here in the Midwest, we're behind everybody. So 
the problems that we're going to face in five years, the guys in New York and LA are facing them now. And so I can get a head start on, on those and start working on them now. We've only got one planet with so much natural resources and the way we're burning through them, we need to start recycling and using those resources as much as possible. And this is a very simple plan. Now, all this material behind us would have ended up in a landfill and instead it'll end up as mulch in people's yard. It'll get reused as metal or cardboard. And so it's just ridiculous to go throw it in a landfill. So I believe that the industry will just keep growing.